In this video, we are going to look at some factors that influences the movement of ocean water. The first one is temperature. When we say temperature of ocean water, the ocean water can either be warm or cold. In other words, warm currents and cold currents. And that is possible because of the incoming solar energy. And then we are also aware of the fact that temperature decreases as we go away from the equator towards the poles. That means temperature is high at the equatorial region and temperature is low at the polar region. Now understand this, when water is cold, the molecules contract and become dense. And when water is warm, the molecules expand and they are more spread out and that makes it less dense. So basically temperature affects the density of water. Hence we can also say that the density of ocean water becomes comparatively greater in the polar areas. Now this change in the density of water creates ocean currents and also it makes the water move up and down through the ocean layers. A good example of this is, if you look at the east coast of the United States, the Gulf Stream carries warm water from the equatorial region to the North Atlantic Ocean. Similarly, if you look at the Labrador Current, which is a cold current, it flows from the Arctic Ocean along the coast of Labrador towards the North Atlantic. The second factor is salinity. Salinity means the amount of salt present in water. And ocean water is generally saline in nature. Always remember this point. Cold water is highly saline and warm water is comparatively lower in salinity. That means highly saline water that is cold water is also dense. And dense water is more likely to sink. Now sinking water pushes the water below it up. The combination of sinking and rising of water in the same area causes a current. The third factor is wind. Wind is the single biggest factor in the creation of surface currents. You must have witnessed this when you stand at a coastal region facing the sea. You will find strong winds moving across the water surface which apparently moves the surface of the water as well. Now these strong winds are continuous and they are constantly present both during day and night. The major winds are the westerlies which blow west to east and the trade winds which blow east to west. In a nutshell, when wind blows on the surface of the ocean, it pushes the water to move and there is a friction between the wind and the water surface and that affects the movement of the water body. The fourth factor is Coriolis force. This is caused by the rotation of earth. When a rotating object collides with another moving or stationary force, it creates a new motion. The earth's rotation creates two currents. One is a clockwise movement of water in the northern hemisphere and the other is the anti-clockwise movement of water in the southern hemisphere. When these currents are deflected by land masses, they create huge ocean currents called gyres or gyres. One good example is the circular current in the Sargasso Sea. The Sargasso is the only sea to be surrounded not by land but by four ocean currents and they are North Atlantic Current on the north, the Gulf Stream on the west, the North Atlantic Equatorial Current on the south and the Canary Current on the east. The fifth factor is the sun. Now sun is the ultimate source of energy. The heat from the sun causes the water in the ocean to expand. We know that equator receives maximum amount of sun rays. And that's how as we go away from the equator towards the poles, temperature drops. That is why near the equator, the ocean water is about 8 cm higher in level because of thermal expansion. Now this variation in ocean water temperature and density creates warm and cold ocean currents that keeps replacing each other making the ocean move. The sixth one is topography of the ocean floor. The ocean floor contains all of the geographic features that can be found on the landmass like mountains, volcanoes, plains, valleys and canyons etc. These are called deep ocean landforms. Now try to understand this. Ocean currents when they move over a broad area and all of a sudden they are forced into a confined space, these ocean currents become very strong. Because the mass of the water is so heavy that when it passes through a narrow opening, it creates a very strong current. Similarly, if there is a ridge or a mountain at the ocean bed, the moving water will go upward. Likewise, if there is a ditch or a trench, the moving water will go downward. Now this sudden upward and downward movement of the moving water will cause water displacement and that creates current. So these were some of the factors that influences the movement of ocean water.